everybody welcome back to my channel I am here for a probably a one-off midweek video because this is something I've actually needed to do for quite a while and I just haven't had the time so I'm so sorry that this hasn't come about but here it is and here we are ready and rolling a few weeks ago I was looking through Instagram and I came across this advert from Sal Digital and because as I've mentioned before I'm a photographer and Sal Digital at the time on Instagram were advertising this product review type of thing so I sent an email to them saying, hi there, I would love to do a product review, review for you. Get my words out. And they sent me an email back saying, okay, if you um, will give you a code, you order an item or for, in this case, at the time they were advertising for doing a review of their wall decors. And uh, so they said, if you pick out a wall decor, pick out a size, pick out whatever you want, we'll give you a code for you to be able to purchase this um, wall decor. We'll send it to you and you do a review for us. And then, you know, Win-win, everybody's happy. So that's what I'm here to do today for you. Now the thing about Style Digital is that they don't only do wall decors as I've, you know, kind of, you know, briefly gave a bit of an indication for just then. I mean, I've seen their advert on Instagram a couple of times. I've seen it for book or photo booklets, I've seen it for other things as well. And if you go onto the Style Digital website, you can see that they actually do wall decors, they do photo booklets, they post well, post. They print posters, they do fine art, so they just kind of, they will help create your photo memories and put them onto something amazing and beautiful. And so without further ado, here is my wall decor. Bosh! So this, it, ladies and gentlemen, is my choice for the wall decor. It's, okay, it's really, it's a really bad kind of angle that I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is the photo that I chose and it's really important to me because it is actually the first photo I took that I was happy with as a photographer. This photo is such a reminder for me of how the past year has gone and it's literally gone up and onwards from there to be honest and it makes me so happy. So yeah, back to the product. Not only do they do kind of canvases, they do posters, they also print cards, they print calendars. So not gonna lie, I think I'm actually going to go and uh, hunt down a, or make a calendar for myself for next year because if it's the kind of quality that they're going to have for their, cal or for their calendars, then sign me up. On their website, they advertise themselves as unique, exclusive and individual which those three things mean a lot to me. And especially in this photo that I have at the moment, actually, it's, it is unique, it is exclusive, it is individual because they are allowing you to create your own photos and to put them onto a product of sorts to bring that photo to life more than just, you know, printing it off your computer. They, uh, they put your photo in like a nice high resolution and they make it just so pretty and just so definitely worth purchasing the product really. Because I chose the wall decor, or I bought a wall decor, I'm going to go on a little, a little bit more about the wall decor itself. So on the website, you can actually go onto, when you go onto wall decor, they've got loads of different subcategories of different types of wall decors that you can do or that you can choose from. Like you've got the artist canvas, which I chose. You have PVC foam board, which I can only imagine thinking of PVC foam board as kind of like, you know, a mouse. A mouse pad but probably like on a bigger scale which not gonna lie that actually sounds really cool and that would be cool for certain people who like that type of material type of thing they have aludibond 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 i'll put that in like here to spell it out for you they have an aludibond which is kind of like a really high res kind of like a metallic type of material for the canvas itself whereas say like my artist canvas is made of kind of like a fabric not necessarily metal which I can which I guess is what the alu de bond if that's the way I'm saying it right if that's the way that that is actually made they've also got acrylic glass which I can only imagine is the canvas or is the photo on a glass <laughs> so you've got so many options to choose from you don't have to choose kind of you know a fabric canvas print or you can choose PVC you can choose glass you can choose alu, alu de Alude bond, whatever the however the hell you say it. So it's all that adds to the unique and to the individual thing that they are striving for because there is no just one way or one material or one style that they're going for when they're creating their products. I imagine that for the rest of their products that they sell, like you know the, the 
cards, the posters, the calendars and other stuff like that. They've got loads of other different types of ways to produce those products, which is amazing. You've got so much to choose from, it's fantastic. And I chose the Artist Canvas print because I personally like that style better. I mean, yeah, acrylic glass is nice, it's okay, but I personally would much rather have a Artist Canvas as opposed to something metallic. I think in my head, I'd rather have something that's a bit softer than something that is really hard and heavy because, you know, I'm gonna be moving out of here at some point anyway. And I've already got a couple of artist canvases kind of like of this same fabric um, of, you know, my own like stuff around my room at the moment. And I want to be able to, you know, wrap these up in, you know, cardboard and transport it to my new house when I can without actually having the fear of them dam being damaged along the way. Whereas if I had like a glass one, I can imagine that entire journey just me being like, don't drop it. Which is not the way I like to live, people. It's too stressful. But yeah, so that's just my own personal preference. I mean, yeah, as I say, the, Ital uh, the acrylic glass, the Alolodi Bond and PVC foam barge, it looks nice. It must be nice because people obviously got different preferences. Some people might not like the artist canvas, but I personally love it. So as I say, I chose this picture because it is actually really quite special to me because the fact that it was my first photo that I took as a photographer. I mean, I said in one of my last videos that I've started, or I started photography on my business. I started my business earlier this year, but I started getting into photography around this time last year. So this stands is my starting point into my new kind of career, my new lifestyle, and so this is a nice little memory of that. The only problem I'd say about this kind of product is that, you see how it folds over here? I tried with the hardest of my might to prop the photo so that it became kind of a little bit smaller so it all fitted onto the canvas itself without this little annoying folding over bit. I mean, it's not a problem. It's, you know, I haven't got an issue with it, but I think at the time when I was making the, or designing it on the website, I looked at it and thought, why can't I edit this or crop this to be, you know, or edit it so that it gets a little bit smaller so it all fits on the canvas without folding over because, you know, as you can, oh, let me show you. So as you can see, the tail actually kind of comes around, that is bad lighting. The tail kind of comes around the canvas, which I didn't necessarily want. I wanted it to kind of be fully further in the photo. Like, I wanted the tail to be a bit more bushy in the photo, but say so lovey, I mean, you know, I, it was not that, it didn't stop me. The fact that I couldn't get it further into the canvas didn't stop me from getting it because I still like the way that it came out. Like, I've got the squirrel, you know, nicely, quite centered, a bit angled to the side. I've got just, Everything that I wanted to represent of the photo, I've got it nicely placed on the canvas. So yeah, despite that one little flaw of the sizing issue, I'm totally completely happy with this product. Like I, no joke, I would definitely totally recommend going to Sell Digital to actually get any product for your photos. Like when I build up my portfolio and I want to get a bit of a picture book or like a little booklet set up, I would love to contact um, Sal Digital again and get them to print off my photos in that way. And I've got a couple of poster ideas that I would like to get together and you know maybe morph that together and then I'm going to contact Sal Digital and be like, hey, do this for me. I can happily say that I will, I would happily and definitely will in the future be purchasing some posters, calendars, loads of different things from Sal Digital in the future once I get the right photos together. And even the delivery process of um, getting through Sal Digital was great. I loved it. I mean, they sent me an email to say when the order was being dispatched. I'm pretty sure they sent me an email to say that the item was close to being delivered. So I literally, yeah, they had. Because I remember sitting at home thinking, oh my God, my canvas is going to be here soon. I can't wait. And then... Yeah, it was great. And then they've even kind of emailed to follow up just to make sure that the product, or the, yeah, my product got here on time, which is fantastic. It's definitely what you want out of a company because they, it means that they are caring enough to keep on top of where your product is. And the fact that the parcel that it was delivered in was amazing as well. It was good. I mean, it wasn't as if it was like a huge box. 
and it's not a massive canvas anyway but you know obviously can't fit through my door but it's not as if they added unnecessary packaging to it they didn't add excess cardboard to it for the packaging they wrapped it up in some like bubble wrap and then put a bit of cardboard around it and it was safe it was secure i didn't when i looked at the product when it was delivered to me i looked at it and thought this is great i had no worries about ever um ordering from Sal Digital in the future and I, I won't worry in the future about um, my, any of my products being damaged in the process of delivery which is another key point of what you want from a company that you want that reassurance that your products are not going to get damaged along the way so top points all around for Sal Digital definite 10 out of 10 recommend so that is my review for Sal Digital I hope that all of you enjoyed this nice little midweek video give it a thumbs up I'm going to leave the uh, link for Sal Digital down below for you to go and check their things out and if you've used Sal Digital in the past then leave a comment down below in the comment section and let me know what you got let me know what type of things that or what products you had bought. Did you buy a poster? Did you buy a calendar? Yeah, let me know. I'd love to know what type of things you used and let me know how they worked out for you. Let us know what your um, review of that is as well. So yeah, hope you all have a lovely week and remember to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be having a video come out in a couple of days. So be sure to see that and I shall see you all on Friday. Bye guys.